I cannot put into words how frustrating I am, how annoyed I've been. I've been angry all day by this, and no one seems to care. I, I yeah, I keep abusing the FAI on Twitter and uh, every social media platform I can, and no one just seems to give a shit. What I'm talking about is the Republic of Ireland have scheduled to play Turkey in Antalya. I think that's how you pronounce it. In Turkey on the 23rd of March. That is a Friday. Now for those of you who know your League of Ireland. Who go follow your team every week. That is a day when there is fixtures on. I'm going to read you out the fixtures that are on that day. When we're, we're, as our national team, is meant to be playing a fixture in Turkey. Bowes v Bray. Cork v Derry. Pats v Limerick. Waterford and Shamrock Rovers. Drogs and Galway United. Shells and Cove. UCD and Cabo and Harps and Wexford FC. I, I I don't understand it whatsoever. I have I'm lost for words how idiotic you can be. As in as a football association, no other football association in the world would do something like that. Would we'll have the Premier has the Premier League in that country playing on the same night as the national team. Now in all fa- well, right, in all fairness, they would probably move the fixtures, which I think I think is outrageous, because the fixtures were announced before the international fixture, which means I think those fixtures take priority over the international fixture. I, I I totally understand, right? If it's a UEFA competition, like it was at Sligo away, I think last year, I can't I can't remember exactly what game it was, but we had to reschedule our game to be played on a Saturday or Sunday because. Of the international football. That's the European qualifier. The football association itself. The FAI. Cannot do anything about that. That is the way UEFA have scheduled it. But to do that in a friendly. Like it really shows. They give so little care. For the League of Ireland. To schedule a national team game. On the day there's meant to be fixtures. For crying out loud. As in it shows. It shows what every League of Ireland fan knows. That it shows total disregard to the league. Total disrespect to the players, to the referees, to the volunteers that help run it. Myself selling programmes, people that sell programmes at Waterford, Cork, Cove, uh, Finn Harp for crying out loud. The t- People that work the turnstiles at Rovers and Pats. Basically every single volunteer, every club staff member, the tea lady, the people that work in the shops. For all the volunteers, people that run the bars in the stadiums, the people that sell the programmes, like myself and Killian. Or, or it shows how little they care for us and the clubs. And it shows how little they care for their clubs as well. I said, what about your man, uh, Frank Gavin or whatever his name was, planned to promote the league? Yeah, the FAI are doing a really great job to promote the league by putting an international game on, on the night that um, the League of Ireland is on. Because so, so people might choose to watch the international game on the fecking TV instead of going to watch the live football. What, what the real heart of Irish football is as in those people inside the stadium at the Denmark game they're not the real fans of Irish football they're, they walked out at, with 20 minutes ago when we were 3 or 4 1 down the real fans of Irish football the ones that go to the League of Ireland games week in week out the ones that go 4 hours up to Bally Buffet to lose in extra time of the cup they're, they're, they're the fans that you know continuously watch their team even though they're rock bottom of the first division they're the fans that follow their team no matter what even if there's no chance of them surviving and they are doomed to the first division. They are the real fans of Irish football. And basically, I feel like the FA is shitting on us and shitting like it has fucking diarrhea. Oh my God, it's, it is absolutely disgraceful what they're doing. No way in hell the DFB would be allowed this to happen with a lot of Bundesliga game to take place while Germany are playing. The FA wouldn't allow... England to play uh, the Premier League games on when the England games are on, and the KNVB would not allow Holland to play the same time that those Air Divisie games. I think it's an absolute outrage what they're doing. Uh, just, just, just think about it. As in, how little this means to the people running the clubs. As in, the FAI are meant to help clubs run along. They're meant to, you know, guide us in whatever way they can, and you know, organize fixture, organizing the fixtures. Was, is a major part of it, and re- they released the fixtures on Tuesday, and then they announced, uh, and then they announced an international fixture for the twenty third of March on Thursday. As in a bit of common sense here, maybe announce the international fixture before and then change those dates. Like my God, incompetent to the highest level, from Delaney right down to 
I don't know whoever pays his fucking wages. Jesus. I'm so, so angry. I'm so annoyed. I'm venting all this frustration out into this camera here. I, I, I am lost for words. I really, really don't know what's going on. I was planning to go to Paris on the 28th of May to watch the lads, the boys in green, play France in Stade, in Stade de France, returning to where he played Sweden. And it's the 28th of May, which is the day after my birthday. I was going to do this for my birthday. I've decided to go against it. Until the FAI realise what they've done and apologise to the League of Ireland clubs, the people that run it, the volunteers, as I said before, or they change the fixture. Because that is, that is not on. As I said, it shows total disregard to the League of Ireland itself. And then how can you do that to your national league? I guarantee you that it would never happen, in, as I said, in the Premier League, in France or in Italy. Because they have too much respect, they have too much money. They probably don't care because there's no money in the League of Ireland. As in, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure how it will work next season, but for the previous seasons, teams got more money for, for playing in a qualifying round, winning a qualifying round of a Europa League or a Champions League than they did for winning the league. That is, that is really fucked up. I bet they're thinking they can earn more money from that Turkey fucking game in An- Antalanta or Anjalanya or whatever it's called than they can from a full week's fixtures of the, of the League of Ireland. It's, it's really frustrating. It's a lack of decency towards the club. It's a, it's a lack of decency towards the volunteers. And, and an all and an all round mess. It is typical of the Football Association here in Ireland that um, they show total disregard for the league, um, total disregard for its fans, for basically everything other than the, than gaining the maximum profit they can. Um, the be- the best way to summarise this up. I have friends who got a ticket for the Moldova game for twenty euro, and then again, they wanted a ticket for the Denmark game, and they were going to be charged sixty, seventy euro. The FAI tried to suck as much money as it as you can out of it, and I, I am really con- starting to consider boycotting uh, home games. But to be honest, what what's it going to do? Realistically, you're still going to have the people that don't care about the League of Ireland going to those games. You're still going to have the people that, you know, don't see it as such a bad thing or not League of Ireland fans don't give a shit about the League of Ireland going to go. You're going to still have people who care more for Ireland going to go. So, I, cause last year, I think there was a boycott of the Emirates and it just looked awful and half of them were there and half of them weren't. We need to be united as a fan base, I think. Um, I'm, I'm just really annoyed about it. I really can't describe how pissed off I am. Especially for Bowes. Bowes are home to Bray. And I know a lot of people that uh, go to the Ireland games as well. I'd love to know what your guys' thoughts on it. How how wrong is it of the uh, Football Association to uh, make a fixture on the day of a uh, league fixtures, of League of Ireland fixtures? Or do you think it's okay because the Football Association are in charge of it all? Do you think, basically just want your thoughts on the whole situation... Are the, are the, are the, the, the football association's fault or is the league has to take a back step to the national team? My my personal opinion is your local game you should be putting that at front of everything considering like the League of Ireland is mainly semi-professional and there's, there's a couple of clubs that are professional but m- not most of them. Players are part-time I think. It shows like, cause, like there's a players association obviously and it really shows you know it's disrespect to them. That's the rant over. As I said, leave your comments down below what you think of the situation and I'll see you next time.